everybody's going nuts with this new YouTube policy in place. What is up, Cage Nation? My name is Kevin Jackwitz, and this is the Cage Review. Well, I have seen dozens of posts already, people talking about the new YouTube policies, that you're demonetized if you're under a thousand subscribers, or I think it's like, what, four thousand watch hours in a year. Here's the thing. People can be pissed off and say, you know, you're taking away um, the ability of the smaller channels to get paid. The reality is, if you're under a thousand subscribers and you have under four thousand uh, watch hours in a year's time, you're not getting paid much anyway. And that's just the way it is. Your your money is not worth complaining about. You might what hundred bucks every six months. I mean, you're not bringing in big money. Um, so this policy really doesn't hurt smaller channels. I am a smaller channel. I just started doing this just over a month ago, not even a month and a half yet. I've got 21 subscribers and I mean, I've got a lot of watch time actually, uh, considering, of course, that's because I work at it. I, you know, because I have health issues, I'm not able to work right now. So that gives me a lot of time and opportunity to focus on this channel and just put out videos. And, you know, at first it was a very slow catch and it's still, I mean, relatively a very slow catch, but it is gaining. And especially in the last couple of weeks, uh, that increase has been a lot more dramatic in comparison to what I started with. You know, you're talking the first three weeks, nobody knows who I am, I barely have any videos out. But that's the point. If you're a YouTuber that wants to make it, you have to work hard at it. This isn't something that happens overnight. And so with everybody freaking out over this, you know, under a thousand, under four thousand watch time, I think it's ridiculous. I really do. You know, the whole thing is you have to be able to invest your time. You have to, you know, okay, for my situation, I wanted to be a gaming channel um, and do reactions and things like that. It just seemed like a lot of fun to me. So I had to invest in an HD game converter, which I did. It's about a hundred bucks. And I'm going to have to invest in an HD camera, which is actually on the way. Um, and that was another 50 bucks. So 150 bucks and you have virtually everything you need for your channel. But then you have to sit there and you have to create, you have to get the videos that you're going to react to and get, have the games that you're going to play for the walkthroughs. You have to invest the time. And it does take a lot of time. Honestly, if you're starting out, you need to saturate your channel as much as you possibly can. Um, and here I am, like I said, you know, um, what, maybe, maybe five weeks. I don't know that I'm even a full five weeks into this. And am I concerned about these new policies in place? No. As a matter of fact, I'm kind of grateful for them. And let me explain that to you. You see, YouTube, unfortunately, is swarming with spam. People who get on here, they don't give a damn about the channel itself, and they're just out to make money with these clickbait profiles. They're under a thousand subscribers, you know, and this is a way for YouTube to try to eliminate that because now these spammers are going to have to invest a lot more time to get any money out of this, which I think is really good. That does actually help the YouTube community. Does it hurt small YouTube channels? No. And let me explain that. When you get on YouTube as a small channel, more often than not, you're just doing it for the fun. 
You're doing it because it's a nice interaction. You get to express your love of certain things. For me, it's comics and games and wrestling and things like that. And I get to talk about that with people who have similar interests. The monetizing came along. And a few people did very, very well with that. Insanely well, as a matter of fact. And everybody has this dream now of having a career on YouTube. It takes time. And you're losing, I mean, a very minimal amount of money, if at all. So I don't think this hurts smaller channels. I really don't. Um, it means you have to work harder. You have to reach these goals. Okay, you know, you were here with your, your you know, requirements. Now you're up here a little bit. And it's not even really that far. Um, you know, I'm getting subscribers without even trying. I'm, I'm getting a lot of views now with, you know, just, just by putting up videos that... I haven't even really perfected. Right now, I'm just trying to saturate YouTube with my content. And once I feel that, you know, I'm comfortable enough with people recognizing me that I can just do a few videos a day, and I'm trying to do at least a few videos a day to get myself out there, then I'm going to stop, have, you know, just that couple of few videos for the day, and the rest of my time is going to be working on my presentation of myself, um, working on getting opening cinematics that are short um, but look really good and are a little bit more personal to who I am and my channel. And that's what I'm saying. Refining your craft. Um, this is something, if you're walking into a YouTube channel thinking that you're just going to make a lot of money off of it, you need to be realistic with what you're doing. I, I am definitely not against YouTube doing this. And, you know, another thing about it is they're not coming into our house and telling us how to live our life. We are walking into their house. And so we have to abide by their rules. Whether we like that or not, no one ever said that we had to try to make a living off of YouTube. You can go out and get a job. You can work and you know construction or fast food or whatever the case may be but you choose to try to get a job here well this is a company like any other and they have guidelines that you have to abide by so at the end of the day this is your job you have to treat it like your job if they don't want you cussing in your videos anymore I've heard a lot of people saying you know they don't like the fact that now they're, you know, cranking down on language. Okay, well, guess what? You are walking into their house. They have rules. Are they tightening up the rules? Yes, they are. Do I believe it's because of Logan Paul? No, I don't. I don't believe that's... I believe that it is possible that that incident made it much more public and maybe they decided, you know, okay, well, this is how we're going to handle it. But I, I do think this, like I said, it's, it stops a lot of people from abusing YouTube and not really trying to add to the community content. And so I think that is overall a good thing. Um, you know, it, it's a business like any other. And you can't be pissed off because a business is acting like a business. I mean, at the end of the day, they have to make money. They have to make money so that we can make money. So that's how you have to look at it, guys. I mean, it's not a bad thing. It means you might have to work a little bit harder and wait a little bit longer. But at the end of the day, even after you're over 1,000 subscribers and 400 or I'm sorry, 4,000 watch hours. There's no guarantee that you're going to be making big money right off the bat. You know, so that's just food for thought. 
Um, I know a lot of people are not up in arms about it and they're like, oh, I'm going to quit YouTube. Well, then that means you didn't have a love for it in the first place. That's how I feel about it. So, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kevin Jackwitz. This is The Caged Review. I'm going to keep doing what I do because I like doing it. Because I like putting out the content. Um, I also... I, I feel like... Um, the interaction is just something that I look forward to. I, I look forward to opening up my phone and seeing people are commenting on my videos and liking them. And I'm not going to stop that because I might miss out on 50 or 100 bucks. So, have a good day. Cage Nation, out.